I've messed up again, people, and I'm sorry. What an overly dramatic way to start the video, but I am truly sorry. And I've already gone through this on the channel, and I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet for once. Come on, man, we're looking. But I am sorry. I am sorry. I, I, this kills me, man. This kills me because I said I was going to do something, eat zero carbohydrates until I get to 300 pounds. But I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be promoting it, especially when I was talking about uh, diets and stuff in my video a couple of days ago. Let me give you a bit of background. If you're not aware, you likely are, but at the start of the channel, I was 385 pounds. I lived a horrible way of living, a selfish way, hold my hands up, selfish, all on my own accord, all my own doing. I lived a horrible way of living where I was binge eating and binge drinking every single day. And if you're not aware, even before that, between 2015 and 17, I lost over 150 pounds, 70 something kg, probably even more than that actually, to be honest built a decent physique, fit, healthy, happy lifestyle. I lived that way. And then I threw it all away. I, I regained the weight. I got in some, my good habits stopped and the negative habits came in and that compounds. And then I found myself in a horrible place. I was also in an environment I didn't enjoy. And that's part of the reason why I would rationalize things and use certain things to escape. So actually one of the reasons why I've been able to break all that is because I got out of that environment and that I, I can speak about that in a whole separate video that's not what I'm talking about but why I do mention this in that place where I was binging binge eating and binge drinking I knew I was going to make this channel and I didn't want me messing up to to go to waste I thought I'm going to use the fact that I've chucked it all away and why and I knew exactly why as well I'm going to use all of this experience to help others Obviously, I had to help myself and I've still been going through a lot of things on the channel, self-reflections, recognizing patterns in myself and improving, which I have done from the start of the channel. That's why I haven't binged and other things again and being able to maintain my weight for the first time in two two years, right? People go, will go, you're not losing weight, you haven't lost weight. That's a big win. If you haven't been in, those, in that position where you're up and down or gaining for two years and you've able to keep a steady weight, 50 pounds down, by the way, being able to maintain that and live a happy life, have these experiences and not go off the rails, the all or nothing, that's a huge win. If you can't relate to that, well, you're in a fortunate position. Well, I say a fortunate position. It was all my own doing to put myself in that position, but you're not going to understand. But I know a lot of you can understand and relate, and that's what I'm here for. That's what the channel's here for. So my mission was to actually help others through showcasing what I was going to do myself. And that's why I've gone through this on the channel before, and I'm sorry, and I'm coming across wishy-washy change what I'm going to do but I don't want to be doing something and telling you not to do it which is what I have been I still will preach and this is this is very important to distinguish is that even though I've done different methods of eating cutting out carbohydrates or eating carbohydrates this isn't me telling you to be the the calorie deficit has been king in all of this or even more than that emphasis on high protein and whole foods that is the key in all of this how i achieve that and this is what i was talking about the other day how i achieve that with carbs or not isn't the point but it kind of is but it's not so there's there's a big difference on i will change the method of eating i'm using but those principles stay the same and the calorie deficit stays the same i've lost weight quick this time around because of zero carbohydrate because you deplete water that's why the scale's gone down so fast. But the fat, the actual body fat I've been losing on my body has come from the calorie deficit. We can talk about insulin and other things, but I'm not here to talk about that. That's where the body fat aspect has come from, the calorie deficit. So whether I eat carbs or not, even if the scale come, goes up, the scale can go up and I can lose fat. But because I hold water, but I lose fat. I'm here for fat loss. I'm not here for weight loss. I'm here for fat loss. So I just want to distinguish that part. So I have been wishy-washy in the methods of achieving that. But they're the core principles. I just want to establish that. I hope that makes sense. So 
I made this channel for the people as well. Obviously, I've had to go through a lot myself and I, I've been a bit selfish. I have been selfish in myself, especially when I've been on holiday reflecting, lying on the beach <laughs> in the sun in Ibiza. I was like, we need to get back to the core principle, man. I need to get back to what I was doing. And I haven't been doing that. I started the channel with a bang, this series with a bang. And it, it's been good to get me going. And the most important thing is getting started and sticking to something in adherence but it's not what I want to promote and I don't want to be doing something on the channel and then tell you not to do it. I will tell you to get in a calorie deficit if you want to lose weight 100%. I will tell you to put emphasis on protein and whole foods. You'll feel good for it. Feel good for it. It doesn't matter though. You don't have to do that. You'll feel good for it. You don't have to. A calorie deficit. If you want to eat junk food every single day, fast food, in a calorie deficit, you'll lose weight. Do I recommend doing that? Not necessarily, but you understand the point. So I'm here for the people that have struggled, maybe people that haven't lost weight before. I don't want someone who's maybe got themselves in, in a position they don't like and they want to lose weight and they come across my channel. They go, he kind of looks like me. He might be lighter than me. He might be heavier than me. This guy, I'm going to see what he's doing. And then they see me cutting out a full food group and think that's what they have to do. That's not what I'm here to do. That's not what, that's not what I stand for. And the reason why I do do it is because I've done it before and I can do it and I went down the carnivore um, rabbit hole and I still believe in some aspects of it, maybe not others, but I, I've done it before mainly when I was already a lot lighter. That's why I can do it and I can transition out of it like I've already done on the channel and not throw it all away. But you don't need to do that and I don't want to promote it. When I lost weight between 2015 and 2017, over 150 pounds, 70 kg, I did it through just calorie counting, tracking calories tracking cat that's how i did it i included foods i didn't cut out full food groups i included all the macronutrients and that's how i've helped others lose weight through doing that and that's what i wanted to do on the channel again even though i've cut out carbs okay i've cut out carbs i'm still promoting the calorie deficit that's where i'm losing the body fat from right that's the that's what i'm trying to distinguish here and, and get across that's still why but i don't want to promote that way of eating itself you could do it and if you enjoy it i'm not going to tell you not to do it right okay but i want to show more relatability more sustainability maybe as well my mission is long-term sustainable weight loss not regaining i don't want myself to ever regain and i don't want you to ever regain and i want to help you lose the weight and i'm going to showcase what with my daily actions and steps and i know a lot of them have been helping people i've got people in the comments saying they're doing the list and things as well which is absolutely amazing well done thank you for watching and well done for taking action but you don't need a well done from me because i bet you have a well done for yourself because you probably feel damn good for doing it and that's what it's about i want to try and maybe set the standard and cutting out a food group isn't setting the standard it's speeding the process. It's rushing the process a bit. Manipulating the scale almost, right? It is. I'm going to come back with a bang. I felt rested, rejuvenated. I have gotten away from that all or nothing to an extent. Maybe not as much as I thought. Because I'm still, maybe not traveling in the fast lane, in a three lane motorway, but maybe I'm overtaking people, going in the middle lane. Trying to get there a bit quicker. I've actively said I've been trying to do it quick. I've had to break. It's time to go to work. And I like putting in the work and I like grinding and maybe going through the struggle for a little bit. But I know that that's still not what I want to promote. I want to promote sustainability long term. I want someone to see this channel who has been struggling, been in a dark place, looking for an out and see, hold on, this doesn't seem too bad. There's going to be discipline. There's going to be tough days. Absolutely. Sorry, I hit the mic saying this doesn't seem too bad oh i still get to eat this and i can still see results oh he's still having an ice cream and he's losing weight and he looks like me and he's still able to do this that's what i want to get on the channel and this isn't as well me rationalizing overeating or cheating no absolutely don't start saying that either that is not what i'm trying to say here that's why i say evidently on the channel already the whole foods the whole the the high protein calorie deficit that's still the mission just how i achieve that's going to be a bit more balanced and not total restriction basically that's what i'm trying to say i'm sorry for being wishy-washy i want to speak more in some absolutes maybe instead of this wishy-washy approach open for interpretation i'm going to set this down i'm going to tell you some absolutes that will get you to where you want to go and i don't want to be telling you what to do i'm going to show you there's a big difference in that. And if you have any question and advice and stuff coming from someone, even though I don't look like it, I did lose a lot of weight and I did keep it off for a few years and I built muscle. If you're someone who's maybe skinny and wants to build muscle, I can help you do that too. So obviously I still have things to work on, but I 
the ch- is bigger than me and that's what actually helped save me. It might sound a bit crazy. That actually what helped save me because I didn't want to live. I didn't want to live. And I thought, no, that's so selfish. That's horrible. That's so selfish. Stop being selfish. I wanted to serve others. I wanted to showcase for others. I wanted to take action on myself for others. And that's in regards to showing on the channel, but that's being around for other people. That's why I wanted to lose weight too. Because I know my relationship was suffering a bit. I mean, who wants to be with someone 385 pounds? I was in pain walking. I didn't want to do things. I just wanted to stay at home and drink and eat. I didn't want to go out in public because I was so heavy and seeing people that I've known. Some people would have seen me fit, healthy, lean. A few years later, suddenly, what the hell? Looking like the Brendan Fraser whale movie. I, I didn't get that bad, but I was on my route there. I was on the path there. So I knew that's what got me out of that as well was that this is for other people. It's not for me. It's not about me. And that's what this channel is about. And I have lost sight of it. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I'm sorry for being wishy-washy and changing my mind on things. Again, calorie deficit stays the same. High protein, whole foods is still my absolute belief, whether I eat carbs or not. But I need to transition out of this way. It's not what I want to show. I want to be more relatable and helpful. So they go, oh, look at me, I've dropped this much weight because I've cut out my cars. Oh, look at me, look at me. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I want to do. So hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. I'm really sorry, people. And then it kills me to have said something and not going to stick to it. And I'm almost fighting myself going, right, let's just get to that first and then we can do this. But then I don't see the point in even doing that. I don't see the point in even doing that. So I'm sorry again, people. I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow.